Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm doing a tier list update for February. I know it's March right now, but whatever. Also, you know, I understand some people put the four buffed characters in there, but I wait till the end of the month just to like really like, kind of talk about it. So with the new characters, we got uh, Psycho Man and Super Skull. They're both just. Eh. That's about it. Psycho Man has a cool ability which could be super cheese with power drain or power lock, but he hits like a noodle. Super Skull hits decent, but he just doesn't really have much utility. So I'm not gonna even waste my time talking about them. That's really it. Uh, more exciting though, the four buff characters in February. Um, it's only been a month, but I know it feels like it's been longer. But um, where is it? okay, so. Oh, I meant to bold this one, too. Let's start with the Yellow Jacket. I think he's the worst of the four. His buff makes him a decent for heal um, reversal, like a tiny bit of heal block. It's decent, but I think the big problem with him is his damage just isn't that good now. So kind of like Spider-Gwen, kind of the same tier for her, like, where they have, like, a decent PC utility that can they can do decently well, but... They both just, that's kind of it. They have, like, one thing that makes them decent, but not, like, much damage. So he goes in Demigod here, which he still isn't terrible. Still a lot better than where he used to be in back here. Um, he went from D, so usable, to B, so not the worst. Then we go to, I think, the next worst, probably, um, Terax. Terax is actually decent. He has decent damage, and he's decent, uh, bleed immune and shock immune, and... Now his arm, I know he's a really good armor break character, so he goes in Demigod tier also. His damage is decent, but I think what it makes him nice is those immunities and the fact that he can have, like, constant armor breaks, which is really good for, like, Emma Frost and Killmongers in any scenario you need armor break. Overall, they did pretty decent with his buff, and we went from not the worst tier, which is pretty arguable, to Demigod, so pretty good. Uh, same thing with Kingpin. Actually, Kingpin went even higher, I realized. Kingpin, I think, is uh, almost one of the best. He has good um, regeneration with willpower, um, but you shouldn't really run suicides with him. He's really tanky and has decent damage and can shrug off shit a lot. But overall, I think he's just a little bit outshined by Mole Man. He's the next character who got buffed. And Mole Man, uh, they made his damage rotation a lot easier to get into and to stay in, which is very nice. So overall, he, he just goes straight to A2 just because he has the ability to just deal with the, a lot. He can do a lot of bleeds. He can do anything where you need crits, like... The ability to just crit only is really helpful. Um, crit and bleed on every hit. So it's pretty nice. Um, he has shock immunity, and um, you can shrug off debuffs pretty fucking easily, and he's an annoying defender. So it goes straight to god tier for me. Now, let's go to just the... Not characters that are buffed, but characters that decided to move. I decided to move um, Punisher 299 from B tier, which is like Darkhawk, Vision, Star Little Arc, Darkhawk, to the tier high with like Starkey, Mysterio. Because he's proven that his uh, utility, like, uh, to when he goes into overdrive mode to make the enemy only gain, like, 90% power, 90% uh, reduced power, it's just so nice just to, like, intercept. He can end fights so quickly with the opponent only throwing, like, one or two specials. And his damage is just a lot better than it used to be. So, honestly, he goes straight to God, dear, for me. And we and then the only thing in this video, we have a, um, we only have one demotion in this video. And let's have a frost. I had her in high god to her strife, apocalypse, near more dominance as well. But the more I thought about it, she probably just goes to god tier because she can be immune to any debuff, really. Any like damaging debuff. Yes. But I think the problem with that is you need to not be in your damage mode for that to happen. So the fights just take a little bit too long. And, um, uh, you know, no, there's not many scenarios where you need, like, all to be immune to everything. It's pretty much none. So, like, Emma Frost, she doesn't mean to everything, but how often do you need that utility? Normally, you just need bleed immunity, you just need poison, or something like that, you just need incinerate, and there's plenty of better options to do a lot more damage. So, it is nice having something to mean to everything, but in almost every scenario, you're gonna have, like, a better character for just bleed immunity, or, like, just, um, you know, incinerate immunity, or, like, I don't know, something like just poison immunity, or, you know, stuff like that. So, for me, she got demoted, so yeah. That is the February tier list. The four new characters that are buffed are decent. Um, but this month, March, it's March 1st now. I'm going to make this video in a month now. Um, so far, the characters look pretty good. Angela looks like she's going to be going to at least high god tier up here. Maybe even beyond god tier. But we'll see. That's why I wait a month to make the tier list update. Just because, like, 
just give it some time and see what the characters can do. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. And yeah, peace.